Hello, my name is Fred Payne, and I would like to review the strategies to manage a successful antimicrobial stewardship program in 2018, including both an industry and provider perspective. Many organizations, such as the CDC, recommend that all acute care hospitals in the United States have an antimicrobial stewardship program in place. The American Hospital Association has identified antimicrobial stewardship as one of the top five areas for improvement in hospital resources. The Joint Commission has come out with standards for all sites of patient care, and in 2018, hospitals will need to comply with CMS standards and reimbursement will be based on these standards. Customer models are becoming more complex than ever. Industry is dealing with larger customer models like integrated delivery networks or IDNs, who are restricting access and influence from the local regional hospital level to a corporate national formulary decision-making process for all drugs, including antibiotics. In fact, some IDNs will not even meet with the industry to discuss products. They prefer to do their own research and make their own decisions. The complexity of the IDNs and the need to create a one-size-doesn't it all approach to business makes it difficult for industry to develop market access strategies, sales and marketing plans, medical science need, and forecasting upon FDA drug approval. In a study I conducted with Dr. David Nash from Thomas Jefferson University Hospital on P&T committees, we identified an average of three to six months to approve a drug for formulary use. Additionally, we received input from several IDNs who were willing to share their approval process. Along with understanding provider complexity, there is the need to understand the antimicrobial stewardship program models being implemented by hospitals. Industry is asking these three questions. Number one, how do we work with hospitals with antimicrobial stewardship programs? Number two, how do we become part of the antimicrobial stewardship program solution in managing antimicrobial use across the continuum of care. And finally, number three, what is the best way to present industry's antimicrobial information to the ASP? As a result, industry is looking to change their approach to personnel needs. One of the most important people to be hired by a pharma company today is what may be called a point of access or POA leader. The point of access leader should understand seven key issues to have a successful antibiotic launch. Number one is, identify the top 50 to 100 IDN accounts. Number two, identify the access points and at what level to interact, corporate IDN level, groups of hospitals, or single hospital. Number three, know the KOLs, including names, titles, and contact information. If an antibiotic, do I first meet with a member of the antimicrobial stewardship team, and most likely it would be a stewardship pharmacist. Number four, schedule an appointment with the KOL. If the KOL is unavailable, have an alternative strategy. Number five, prepare the required information for formulary consideration. Number six, Know the necessary contracting options, including GPO contract, IDN contract, direct contract, or a value-based contract for providers in the system. And lastly, number seven, know the technology used by the IDN in microbiology, physician order entry, and existing antimicrobial stewardship platforms. These are just a few areas of importance to be managed by the POA leader. The POA would work with the market access team, sales and marketing, medical science, contracting, and supply distribution to represent the needs and special requests of the provider. To summarize, I am available to contribute to the success of an acute care model using an anti-effective as an integral part of the antimicrobial stewardship program. Many IDNs are waiting for industry to step forward and develop a new way to establish value-based patient care. Together, we can be innovative and create a solution that benefits all stakeholders. I can be reached by email at fredjpain at gmail.com or at 704 
564-1409. Thank you.